everybody um, welcome to the crafty maven getaway today is the stash it monday where you get to use your stash um, i'm desiree also known on youtube desiree's scrapbook nook um, so let's go ahead and get started uh okay so here i am supposed to be digging through my stash right well i recently just placed an order it didn't get here in time and it was for glitter paste um, I kind of had this idea of what I wanted to do and it didn't come in time. And so what did I do? I went to my stash and I found these stickles that I had. So I could have saved myself the $30, saved myself from bringing more stuff into my scrapbooking room. Um, if I would have just taken the time to actually go through everything that I have. So I strongly encourage you guys, if you don't have something, um, or think you don't have something, definitely go through your stash. So what I'm using is a Cartabella Snowflake stencil, and those are Rangel's Stickles. Um, I don't know the colors. I just got them from Michael's a long time ago, never even used them, and it came in a set of three where it was aqua, fuchsia, and green. So I'm going to use the aqua and the pink. And you can see there's my little tester that I did, and of course when I did a test run on it, the snowflake comes out beautiful nice and crisp um doing this right now not so much but i don't realize it until after the fact but i just roll with it and keep moving on so there's no rhyme or reason i do know i definitely want to have the snowflakes going into a diagonal line and the reason why is where i'm going to place my photo I wanted the snowflakes to fall like almost like into the picture because of what my title is going to be, which is mag you know, magical traditions. Um, and I'm going to have the word believe on there. So it's almost like I want the magic to pour into the photo. Okay. So, um, I don't know why I'm didn't cut this part out, but I apologize. Um, I try to save out a lot because I, actually recorded myself doing this whole thing and it took me probably over 20 minutes um so I cut most of it out and I tried I thought I got it down to just two minutes so sorry about that I don't know why it's actually doing that okay I'm gonna keep moving on and for some reason if it's frozen um because I'm definitely having some computer problems I will oh no here I come back okay and here is where I'm going to actually make the, create the diagonal line. But, um, okay, so going back to my layout, um, the papers that I'm using are L Studios 2014 collection called um, Good Cheer. And if you also follow my uh, channel, then you will know that I'm using this as well as for a 2013 mini Christmas album. But so this is, I'm doing like a mini Christmas album for my son, and then I'm doing just a regular traditional layout and pocket pages to go in a 12 by 12 album for my daughter. So this is what I'm working on right now is my daughter's layout. Okay, so there's the diagonal line and there's the photo. And like I said, you probably, that looks familiar to you because I just posted a video not too long ago using the same exact photo for the mini book. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that down and I'm going to use that uh, pink stripe paper as part of the mat. And I'm going to try to line it up to where it's a little bit on, of the pink on top and on the bottom. And I one was a little bit too much more than the other. Not that it's ever going to make a difference. Nobody's going to pay attention. But I tried to lift it up and then I felt like the paper was going to rip. So, you know, rather play it smart and go ahead and just leave it um you know, stuck to the paper where it was. So then I backed it up again with another aqua paper and now I'm gonna grab some doilies. And for me, they kind of remind me of snowflakes in a way. So I thought, well, let me just kind of play with that and see if I can add that onto the layout. They end up not, do not making it. And if you wanna know um, who makes those doilies, it's Doodlebug. Uh, they come in a range of colors, um, a ton of colors actually. And they all match with all of their enamel dots and everything else. Okay, so after playing with those for a while, I decide to move on and I grab my, my mind's, uh, me and my big ideas, um, they're transparent stickers. Is it trans? 
not transparent, transparency stickers. Oh my gosh. Okay. And, um, whoops, I'm just going to grab, yeah. Oh no, they say transparency. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Clear stickers. <laughs> and I go ahead and put that word believe on the photo. Next, I am digging through my stash again, using really old stuff. Um, I found that I had a huge bag full of fibers, and there you see me just trying to see what colors I want to use. And um, yeah, there's a reason why I don't purge. I spent $9 per box and haven't even used them, and I just can't imagine throwing them away. And I think fibers are kind of coming back for the tag, so I actually like the look of it. I ended up going with the white um, that had like silvery accents kind of going through the string. And I used that as my tie, or I tied it up on the tag. Next, I am grabbing some uh, Heidi Swap Shine in tinsel. And I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of those on, um, sprinkle those all around the page. And then another thing, I, um, I do not have a gray Sharpie or um, the Chamel Gray pen, and I was like, gosh, you know, I wish I would have ordered it. Lo and behold, I have Zig Writers, and I just found a color that works best. Um, they've been in my stash forever, honestly, since, gosh, I start, I was working at the scrapbooking store around 2003, and they still work. Um, I keep the cap on, and, and they're not dried out at all. So I just tested the color that I liked, and I think I went with still gray or platinum. I can't remember which color it was. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and outline that tag and I'm outlining it because the tag kind of gets lost on the paper, the background paper. And so that makes it pop a little bit more and define the tag as well. And another reason why I went with tinsel and gray um, pen is because the background note paper is in gray as well. There I'm going to use American Craft Foam Thickers in Fitzgerald. And then I'm going to add a die cut that says Magical Tradition. And that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this layout. I hope it inspired you to definitely dig through your stash. And definitely before shopping, see what you have. Thank you so much for joining me today. You all have a wonderful Monday. Bye.